Hello there and welcome back to my second Nintendo Direct video. This is the second video of our four uh, video part mini-series. All four videos will cover the Nintendo Direct for today. The, uh, the first one covered the 3DS and the rest of these videos, including this one, will cover the Switch portion of the D Nintendo Direct for September 13th, 2017. If you want to listen to me talk about the 3DS, um, the link will be in the description along with the other videos. Uh, so let's get started with the Switch. Let's go. The first part of the Nintendo Switch portion covered a lot of games. Uh, the first one was Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 kicked it off. I was happy to see and to hear about this. It looks gorgeous. Um, the art style is not really what I would have liked, in my personal opinion, but it looks very nice. I hope it's a huge and massive world like the first one. I played 30 hours and still haven't played the whole uh, thing, the whole first uh, version of it, or Xenoblade Chronicles, uh, the first one, on a 3DS. I got late to that game, so I still haven't played it, and then I have other stuff to do, you know, life and other games, so I've been busy. But I do want to finish that soon. The girl in the red clothes looks hot. I didn't catch her name, so please mention her name in the comments I want to know. It looks like it's just as fun as the first one. I hope it is. The graphics look great, and I heard the same music as in the first game. Um, so they recycle the music, that's fine, but I hope they do give you new music. Uh, they went into good detail about the game mechanics and gameplay and how the fighting works. It looks pretty cool. And we got a launch date for this game, December 1st, which is perfect. This gives me a month to play Super Mario Odyssey. That's great. They will also sell a special edition with a CD full of music, a special metal game, metal game case, and an art book. And a new Xenoblade style Pro Controller. That's separate, but you can buy it if you want it. So, yeah, if you want to spend your hard-earned sugar baby money on that, go ahead. They also talked about extra stuff for Splatoon. Uh, they talked about a new weapon, which looks like a sail spewing paint out the back. They also talked about a new stage. I don't own this game, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, the next game is Fire Emblem Warriors. Meh. I played the latest, the other one on the 3DS. Um, I didn't really like it. I didn't like how it was pretty difficult, actually. Um, it launches October 20th. But I know it's very popular and a lot of people want to play it, so that's why I mentioned it here. The next game they talked about is called Snipper Clippers. This one came out um, on launch date, I think, with the Nintendo Switch. So they are releasing new content, but you have to pay for it. Um, it's 20 new stages on top of the original stages. And now you can play the original stages starting as different shapes, which will require you to be more creative when cutting. It goes on sale November 10th. It sucks that they're charging for more DLC, but um, you know what can you do? The next game is Morphe's Law. This game looks very similar to Overwatch. Basically, it's a shooter game where you control a morphing robot. It looks like fun, but I don't know if I'll pick it up. Um, there's already a lot of games on this direct that I want to get, so I don't know if I can afford all of them. I like shooters, but uh, not that much. I'm a big fan of Titanfall 2, even though sometimes it's really frustrating because it looks like it's broken. Um, but it will launch as a console exclusive in winter 2017. Which means that it can also launch after Christmas, not just before. The last major game I want to go over in this video is Rocket League. We already knew this was coming, but we did learn something new about this game. Mainly that the Nintendo exclusive stuff that you can get, you actually need to work for it. You have to unlock it. Something you need to do in the game, maybe pass it once through um, the campaign mode or whatever they have, or get or get a certain score or something, and then they will unlock the Mario, Luigi, and Samus cars or toppers. Um, 
This is good because it provides an incentive for you to play the game without the Nintendo stuff and it will give you a sense of accomplishment and the fact that you have Nintendo exclusive content and that you worked hard for it may give you some bragging rights over the other version of the games and you can take it on the go. They didn't talk about the cross-platform online gameplay but they did mention that with the Switch you can get local wireless multiplayer games going. You will also need to unlock the Samus Gunship which I mentioned before. Last but not least, for this video I want to mention two games quickly. Arena of Valor is a new strategy game coming to the Switch. You can play the free beta version test in winter of 2017. I will play it and I will decide then if I will buy it. But it does look interesting and beautiful. Then Nintendo goes into more detail about Skyrim Elder Scrolls. And they show some screenshots and I must say that it looks absolutely gorgeous. I know it's a really old game um, and I actually bought it for $5 on my 360 from GameStop. But it does look kind of crappy, honestly. I may buy it for the Switch, but I really don't want to spend any more money seeing as I already have it on my other console, my Xbox 360. It is releasing on in November of 2017. Okay, that ends this video. Please check out my other videos in this direct. One video is dedicated to the 3DS news, and the other two videos talk more about the Switch and the other games. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think, what you like, what you didn't like, uh, what got you excited. Please comment down below. Convincing victory.